November is Pancreas Cancer Awareness Month. And it's hard to imagine that in 2022, pancreas cancer uh, continues to be such a deadly cancer. Uh, we've made such tremendous advances with many other cancers. Uh, with pancreas cancer, we've made some advances in terms of better therapies, safer surgery, uh, better ways of identifying uh, tumors, but it continues to be a cancer that has a poor prognosis. Currently in the United States, pancreas cancer is the fourth leading cause of deaths with about 40,000 new cases uh, per year. And unfortunately, the reason pancreas cancer has a uh, poor outcome is that most patients, by the time they pre present with symptoms, already have more advanced disease. There is no screening test for pancreas cancer. There's no um, recommended blood test or recommended uh, scan uh, for people just to look for pancreas cancer. But any person that is higher risk, for example, uh, someone who has a history of smoking, diabetes, obesity, um, that is experiencing um, some abdominal pain or yellowness, jaundice, should go see their doctors and pancreas cancer certainly should be on the differential. Uh, the way we diagnose pancreas cancer is through either a CT scan or uh, MRI. And after a diagnosis is made, um, a biopsy can be performed by a technique such as endoscopic uh, ultrasound. And then the management really requires a multidisciplinary team. That's something that we take a lot of pride in at the St. John's uh, Cancer Institute is the ability to present our patients to many different disciplines because it's no specialty alone that uh, helps cure pancreas cancer. It's really the team, the team approach. The surgeon, um, the ability to remove the tumor, chemotherapy can be given either before or after. There is a role for radiation therapy. And then there's, there really are some very interesting trials right now looking at novel uh, therapeutic approaches such as immunotherapy.